Welcome to Mali Pavilion in Expo 2020, the biggest event in the world with 122 countries coming here for connecting minds and build the future. We are here in the Mali Pavilion and uh, the Mali Pavilion welcome you with women and with beautiful sunrise made by our photographer Amja Traoré and this other photographer Kumi. So welcome where the sun is warm and the smiles warmer. A people, a land, a culture where people have harms wide happen. When you are never a guest, you are a family. And your host, your Jatigi, is an entire country. Welcome to Mali, welcome home. Please enter. So um, how many smiles do you have in Mali? How many people? You have 20 million people with smiles. 20, people, 20 million people welcoming you with smiles. So uh, smiles. like, uh, for example, tourists are welcome? Tourists are family. We are in the pavilion of hospitality. So in Mali, uh, we consider people like family. Visitors are never tourists, are never tourists, are never visitors. They're always family. That is why it's a pavilion of hospitality, a meeting place. What do you show here? Here, we start the story of Mali with the river of gold. And uh, this is the river of gold with these fishes. These fishes are the copy of the puppets made by Bozo. So, uh, who, who's a bozo? Bozo are the masters of water. But we have a wall of the masters of water, but before coming uh, in this wall, we start the story by the story of Mansa Musa. Because Mali Pavilion is about connection. And we wanted to start this connection with the Middle East. And we wanted to start with the connection of this man, the story of this man, well known, the biggest, the um, richest man in the world, but Mansa Musa is well known uh, for his generosity. Uh, so, uh, when is uh, Mansa, Mansa Musa? That was a uh, long was, time ago. He was a long time ago. It was the tenth emperor of the Mali Empire, and had a reputation that preceded him all the way to Europe and Middle East. Uh, uh, so this is the map? This is the map of the River of Gold. And in Mali, when you are talking about history, about culture, we're always talking about opportunities. So between the story of Mansa Musa and the story of the Empire of Mali, we have the trade of gold, because Mali is the third producer of gold. And gold is very important in Mali. The whole world runs on gold, right? Everybody needs gold in every country, so there's customers everywhere. Well, in this pavilion, um, you will find another gold. A lot of gold. You will find another gold. Ah, another gold. Yeah. The river is in gold, it's symbol. The, travel, the trade of gold, it's about opportunities. But you will find another gold. Gold is not only about mining. Gold is also about behavior, about values. That's what you are going to discover in this country, in this pavilion. So this is the map of the River of Gold with famous cities. Segu, Bamako, Mopti, Nyafunke, Markala, Djenné. And you are, you are going to discover all these cities along the journey. First of all, we start by Gao. Gao is along the river. The Gold River, the River of Gold, is the Niger River. We have two rivers in Mali, the Niger River and the River Senegal. And along the Niger River, we have the city of Gao, the famous city of Gao. And this young man, Ibrahim Maiga, is welcoming you. Welcome to Gao, the city of Askia, the emperor of Songhai. And he introduced you 
on the wall of the Masters of the Water with mystical tradition, the culture of Niger River. We have here the Moptikins race, and here we have um, intangible heritage. We wanted to showcase also the connection in Africa. This is uh, the original master of wa water named Bafaro. But in Beni, for example, and in other countries in Africa, they name her um, Mamiwata. So we are always talking about connection with the Middle East, uh, with Africa here, and also with Africa here. And as I said, when we talk about culture, we always talk about opportunities in hydroenergy and aquaculture. Uh, so how much is going on with the hydroenergy in Mali? Um, along this river, the hydroenergy is very important uh, because we use for to, to feed and uh, it provides electricity. Uh, so a lot of electricity. A lot of electricity uh, comes from hydroenergy in Mali. There's also a lot of sun, right? So you could yes. be cultivating that. Yes. How much solar power do you have going on? Well, I can tell how much, but I can tell you that uh, by now they are working on providing uh, many energy, many electricity uh, with um, solar. And we'll discover that on the new project in the wall of Bamako. But here I wanted also to showcase Sirius, discovered by Dogon. And this is the corner of children uh, with the story of uh, the legend of Malisajo and the myth of Tapamajinipo. So we continue the journey along the, gold, the river of gold and we arrive uh, in Segu. Welcome to Segu, the land of she and uh, 4,444 balazan trees, um, uh, of which even the locals do not know the significant and the potteries. So right here is the pottery? Yes, yeah, very important in the city of Segu. And made. And the idea of handmade in the pavilion is very important. And uh, it's ar artist, artistry, artisana, right? Uh, artist. Not artisana, artist. All the picture you see here, all the photographs you see, all the photo you see is here, uh, have been made by Malian photographer. All the photo have been made by Malian photographer. This is, for example, a photo from uh, the artist Kiss, the Bafaro. Uh, the original master of water uh, by uh, the photograph Jawara, Mopti by the photograph Jawara, and uh, this also. So uh, all the photographers of Mali helped to build uh, this, uh, this pavilion. And uh, now we come on the wall of the people of Office Tunisia, uh, because we have um, 1,200,000 kilometers uh, carré, I don't know how to say square, it. Square yes. kilometers. <laughs> kilometers of uh, land. And uh, as country tourist large producer, uh, this um, Mali provide uh, all the West African countries uh, in Oxen. So it's a very big opportunity there. And as I said, when I talk about opportunities in Mali, always talk about culture. And this culture uh, is the festival known as Yaral Degal, a Fulani festival, that meaning the crossing of the oxen. It takes place in Jafarabe and celebrates the crossing of thousands of cattle and the nomadic people of Mali with contests of poetry, music, and dances. Another festival uh, uh, along the river, Festival sur le Niger. The Chiwara, 
well known in the famous museums, uh, has a symbol of braver, and you will see always this symbol in all the pavilion. It's the emblem of Mali Pavilion. It's the belt of braver. And we arrive here uh, in the agriculture area uh, because it's a land of agriculture and we are the third uh, producer of cotton. And um, this is a big opportunity in Mali. But it's not only about to be the, first, uh, the third producer of cotton. We wanted to explain the deep meaning of cotton in Mali. This wall um, explained three things. This wall about knowledge, the signs and symbol made by Fode Moussa Sidibe, uh, are made by Fode Moussa Sidibe, and uh, it's a symbol of Malian culture, cultural identity. Bogolan Fini is an unmade cotton, traditional dyed with fermented mood. And these signs are like alphabet, going back to the source, the navel of the world, the human person, the path of life is never straight, union, um, the path of uncultivated knowledge, the belt of the braver, and power and strength. And it's to initiate young people. And uh, the cotton, we have the waving here. The meaning of the waving in Mali means to uh, wave the universe. The sound of the waning, the waving is the sound of universe. So we have knowledge in the cotton and we were knowledge. In many countries, in many areas, knowledge and alphabet and science are in paper. But in Mali and in this area, we were knowledge. We were knowledge and we were also knowledge for our health because dyed uh, fermented mood is very important for knowledge, for, for, for health. So you can see what you can do with cotton. We can see the future of cotton. And here, this man, whose name is Chris Seydu, a famous designer in Mali, bring the tradition to design. And his model, Maria Bokum, continues uh, this work. And we have now uh, this piece of uh, design. And uh, it's very important in cultural industry, all what we can make with cotton and this industry. And we arrived uh, in Bamako. Welcome to Bamako. It's the city, the capital of Mali, with these uh, young ladies. And you will see there all the new projects. Uh, Robo Mali, Impact Up in Mali, Projet Yelenkura. But it's just some project. Uh, so, so what's going on with the, uh, the robots and um, is the students doing all this kind of project or? Uh, it's a um, startup. Uh, Impact Hub, for example, supports entrepreneurs, especially uh, young and women, uh, through specialized training, incubation and acceleration program. That's Impact Hub. Uh, Robo Mali is an, on mission to teach robotic and artificial intelligence in all of Mali school and college. And uh, this project, Yelenkura, uh, has been created by Robo Mali in collaboration with uh, the Union of Blind. Uh, and so so what, what, do, what, does, uh, what do you do uh, in terms of using technology to bring the Mali forward? A lot of things. A lot of things, but the most important things is to preserve uh, knowledge coming from the past. For example, we enter here in the heart, the soul and the spirit of Mali Pavilion. And we have here the manuscript, 
the digitized manuscript of Tombaktu. Technology helped us to um, preserve this manuscript. It's about science, medicine, poetry, astronomy, astrology. So we try to bring here, and it's a word it's, uh, of technology. Technology help, her, help us to, to preserve this knowledge. And this knowledge uh, help young people to uh, create new projects. What, what are these? Uh, you digitize them. Um, all these are, um, you saw that we have many ideograms, symbols and signs. And in Mali, we, since we have also the Tifinac alphabet. And in Mali, we, in this area, we also write in Arabic. So it was just to showcase all the, um, uh, how can I say it? all the signs in Mali, all the alphabet in Mali, uh, to, to showcase this diversity. So this is the Great Mosque. Yes, the Great Mosque of, uh, of Kenya. And uh, what, what other things can you talk about in terms of uh, technology use? Uh, do you show some more? Or? Yes, we have here the Lenali project. I don't know if it's work. We have the other Nelani project. Uh, it's a massive boost to social inclusivity. And the Nelani app, it's the world's first voice-based social media network. It allows those without a formal education to access a digital landscape and connects Mali's entrepreneurs with a wider consumer base. And in here, we are trying to showcase uh, all the sign, ideograms, uh, in a technology way. The, uh, everybody in Mali has a good internet connection or are there some places that need to get better satellite link ups in the yes. future and of stuff course, like that? Of course, because it's a very big country so uh, some area need that, of course. Maybe, um, you know, this uh, Starlink uh, Elon Musk project could cover the whole area and bring some dishes and everybody can get fast internet. Because right now there's cables going in and 4G, 5G, something like that in the cities, right? Yes, but we have, um, we have to figure out about that. Um, uh, what is um, Malian people use uh, internet in all the area? You know, with what? With smartphone. <laughs> also, with, with smartphone. Um, even in some area when they don't have a uh, landline phone, they have a smartphone and they can do many things with, uh, with like that. It's like a currency use. also, a payments currency of the exactly. smartphone. Exactly, we do many things with smartphone. More, more, more than in, um, in, uh, in Europe, for example. They use it in many ways. Right. Hmm. Let's continue the tour. <laughs> yes. And here we have our traditional uh, string music instrument. A gift from genius to humans to galvanize, educate and inspire them. Is that the, the instrument we hear playing there? Exactly, because when you enter in Mali Pavilion, you can hear this instrument. So you wanted to show the real instrument here. And this instrument is like, sorry, is like Stradivarius. <laughs> oh. So it costs like 150 million dollars then. It's not about cost. I'm joking. <laughs> it's not about cost, but I, I understand what you're meaning. It's not about cost, it's, not, it's about um, the meaning, and it's about beauty, and it's about how it's very hard to learn uh, to play this, this instrument. It can take um, 15 years. So it's very, very hard to play it. All right. And here we have the art and beats of Mali streets. The designer, and this seat has been designed by Sheikh Diallo, our famous designer, Siege Banan. 
an art gallery, um, the Biennale uh, de la Photographie in Mali each two years um, to showcase that also in Mali by night we have a, a, an interesting life, artistic life, and photography is very important in our country. Our Meite, Al Fadi. And here we arrived uh, at the end of the exhibition, at the end of the journey. Uh, this is the um, artwork made by uh, Abdoulaye Konate. And um, it summarizes uh, the pavilion, the soul, the heart, and the spirit of the pavilion with Mansa okay. Musa. Mansa Musa, you show. You yeah. saw with his vision, uh, the white gold, the gold, the black gold, diversity in culture and uh, architecture and uh, blue like the, the river. And all these colors are very important in Mali. So um, this piece of art is here to summarize the pavilion. And the vision of Mansa Musa, you go with the vision of Mansa Musa. <laughs> We arrived here. Hello. Hello. The treasure of Mali. All right. Yes. Uh, yes and the treasure is, yes. uh, is for sale. Is this sh it's is this for shop? Sale. It's it's the shop, and they have been made by the association Timidois. <laughs> 250 persons and craft unique. Right. And uh, what in the corner here, where is bag? Yes. Yeah, two bags and the, I think this one is for the camel. They all use right. it for long rides. Well, all right, <laughs> cool, so thanks a lot. That's great. Uh, so how's it going, the Expo 2020? A lot of people walking by? Yes. Yesterday, we received uh, in the Mali Pavilion uh, more than 5,000 visitors. That was incredible. All right. So we hope that um, it will be better in the... Yeah, everybody's welcome. It's open the next four months. Yes. There's a good connection. Uh, Very good to, connection. To Dubai? From, uh, from Mali, direct flights? We, well, Malians live everywhere. So uh, we have not a direct flight to Dubai, but we have many Malian people uh, who come in Dubai because uh, it's like a hub for them. So um, uh, they live everywhere and uh, all Malian people come to Dubai with this exhibition. And uh, there are direct flights from Europe to Mali, yes, from, uh, Paris, from France, for example, Paris, right? yes, yes. Uh, but some direct uh, plan also from Africa, from Ethiopia, for example, from uh, Senegal, I think. So we have some direct planes. That's not. A yeah, problem. there's a lot of connection with the Ethiopian airlines. Yes, so people can come from everywhere. Yes, and, and Turkish uh, airlines, no. Turkish airline and Emirates. Emirates also. Emirates. So direct Dubai. Um, not yeah. with France. Ah, ah, through, yeah, yes, through France, Paris. yes, yeah. through Paris, yes. Cool.